Daybra Dairy Farmers Greg and Jenny Eastley have used an energy audit on their farm to pinpoint the best measures for energy savings. They say that while the process required some research on their part, it yielded valuable information. Probably went over a few months, we probably starting back about November, Jenny started feeding information to to the gentleman down south and he didn't actually come onto our farm but we just every week he'd be ringing up for a bit more information and yeah I, I think in the end he got it fairly right. You know, it was a bit of a lot of work on his side and probably a fair bit of work on our side you know just chasing up information for him. But. The Eastleys found from the audit that one of the best options for them would be solar panels including one freestand for the farm and another on the house. And they'd done the uh, Pre the, the day, the, the field day, they'd done a, uh, the figures on the payback and it was around that three and a half to four years. And so that's why we decided to put this five kilowatt and there's two, one in the house, at the one back in the irrigation sites on a freestanding stand, which added a few, probably about another year maybe to payback. But it's because it's got no trees near it, it's directly facing north, it's, it'll probably pay back in that four years quite comfortably. I think it's around about the 15,000 all up. We've had no problems with it, it um, works well. Yeah. yeah, well the feed in on that one is 52 cents a kilowatt, so I'm pretty certain that if you weren't getting that, um, you would, uh, it'd take, like I believe now it's uh, 8 cents on the new government um, program and that would obviously probably blow that out to quite a few more years. So I, I think we'd think differently about it then. The feed, feedback certainly has made it more attractive.